Thank you very much. Brian, this is where I pause for a nervous break. That's fine. It's indeed a pleasure to be here today. I am a TV guy and a radio guy. I do the broadcast of the Austin East football games as well as sell WJBE radio. And I was teaching school at Vine this, the first of this year. What an experience. Yeah. But uh, I also worked for public television for 25 years. For those of you that are from Knox County, while in high school at Carter, I worked at Channel 10 Television. So I ran camera on the Cass Walker Show. Woo! Love me some Cass. Oh boy, pick up your money. Pick up your morning paper when it hits. Absolutely. Cass Walker's prices they can't be beat. Try the Blue Band Coffee if you want some more. Do all your shopping in the Cass Walker store. <laughs> so, I won't. I, I won't. I won't make that come off your time. Thank you very much. How about that for a memory? My district, the first district. We need a safer, cleaner community throughout Knox County. So there's no doubt about that. And it is growing. The projection is that we're going to have 50,000 people to move here. And they project the people are going to move from downtown to Straw Plains. So with that, zoning is going to be a real important issue. Now, the thing that I could talk about is some of my experience. I graduated from a Knox County Community Leadership course. I was on the Helen Ross McNabb Drop-In Center. Those kind of experiences, we have a serious mental issue with people that are homeless and it's problems are caused. We don't have a lake shore anymore. That's something we're gonna have to address. We have too many homeless people. And somehow, uh, we don't wanna make tough decisions sometimes. Somehow we turn our heads as various things. Somehow we don't wanna associate higher than some things. By the way, uh, I would be missing something if I wouldn't tell you that I'm a preacher. Uh, I started preaching years ago, and I think God will let me live. I'm on the air on Wednesdays at 11 o'clock on ctvknox.org. And if you watch it, I rebroadcast the Austin East football games a lot on there, and I put community issues. I want to elevate our community. I want to build our community up. But... A lot of time in the summers, I'm preaching. Now, I need to tell the people, if you watch when I'm preaching, be sure to have your old clothes on, because the spirit will probably hit you. You'll probably roll it on the floor. But <laughs> I, you know, I, I'm not, when I started out, when I first started preaching, I didn't preach that well. But the more of a deposit of the word of God you put in your mind, your heart, your very spirit, you got it. My community, the first day, coming all the way down here to West High School, which my son graduated from West, and he also graduated from the University of Tennessee. My heart is here because I spent so much time here <laughs> going to basketball games. He started for two years. <coughs> but our community needs a build up. I want a cleaner, I want a safer community. I want to make sure that we do the right things in terms of zoning. What takes place in government, folks? Let's see, I was probably in the fourth or fifth grade. I took a civics course and government is supposed to be for the people. If I took uh, another four minutes, and Brian would be putting a hook on me, but if I took a, 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 well, some more minutes talking about me, it doesn't mean much because a lot of times we're too self-promoting. But here is the key. The key tonight for me to tell you, if you have a concern, if you have some wishes, if you call me, I will address that. And we're going to have to have some community meetings. Those of us that get elected to Knox County Commission, we're going to have to have some community meetings upcoming. Why? Because zoning is going to be a real important issue coming up in this community by how many people are living here and how many people are moving here. We're going to have to change the infrastructure. Things are going to change. I appreciate you so much. If y'all have a friend that lives in the 1st District, I would appreciate you asking them to vote for me. If you live in the 1st District, I would appreciate if you would vote for me. If you vote for Charles Frazier, you're voting for the people of Knox County and the people of the 1st District. Thank you.